<laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! So good! Hello, my name is Frankie! I live in a share house! It's so good! Anyone else here li uh, live in a share house? Are you all fucking own? Yeah. You're the problem? You live in a share house? Is it a good share house or about, oh, that's your housemate? You better say good. <laughs> it's so good. You had fear in your eyes when you said it. We'll talk later. <laughs> oh my God. I live in a share house. I love it a lot. Uh, I've got two housemates, Kate and Bindi, whom I love. Um, we have like a fun chore wheel for our little, for our little house, a little fun chore wheel. And uh, my housemate, Kate, got the bathroom. Fun room to get good room to get and so she was gonna have fun with it and so uh she she said she said I did something cool I used um the shower head a setting on the shower head to clean the grout from in between the tiles you know and I was like cool and then she showed me the setting and I realized it was the same setting that I use on my clip <laughs> <laughs> which is fine that's fine you know we all do it you know it's fine um but then a week later she said oh no I can't do that anymore can't do that. Uh, the setting was so powerful that it was chipping away the grout from in between the tiles. <laughs> Am I Hercules? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do now that I know I have this awesome power? You know? Like now I just feel like this moral obligation to like use it for good. <laughs> You know, like now, just like I'm walking at the front of every protest line. <laughs> We're all just like marching and then all of a sudden I'm like, get behind me. No, don't bring out the water cannons. <laughs> don't do it. So I was like, what are we marching for? I'm like, I got no idea. Go on your couch. So good, having a lovely time. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to date. I don't know how to meet people. I don't know how to fucking do it. Um, I I get nervous talking about dating when I'm on stage because I get worried that like people think that I'm just trying to like. <laughs> you know? No, no. Because honestly, if you are hitting on a comedian, that is a red flag for me. <laughs> We're not well. Have some self-respect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to meet people. I don't know if this is relatable. Um, has anybody else panic applied for The Bachelor? <laughs> this is real. I applied to be on The Bachelor. I applied to be on The Bachelor. It's like a four-page form and I filled it all out and they did not let me on. <laughs> Which is super fair because I know why I wanted to go on. Because I wanted to go on and I wanted to be a gay nightmare. <laughs> You know, I wanted to go on that show and just be a, a bisexual gremlin, you know? I, know? I know what would happen on that show, like on Channel 10's The Bachelor. Um, I, and I don't want to go on the one where there was a lady. There was not a single carabiner on a ball gown. Where's my representation? A lot of straight people in the audience. Everyone else, good for you. Um, but I, I, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get out of the limousine. And at the end of the red carpet, there's going to be like some fucked ex-rugby player just standing there, you know? Like, he's just in a suit. He's just, you know, he's all neck, you know? <laughs> and he's then he's getting confused by all the light. <laughs> there's like two interns and they're like holding the chains down like, no! Nah! And he's like, and he's doing that. And then I get out of the limo and I just look at him. And then on national TV, I would just go... Good, I can't bear, you know? I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do at all, you know? And like, I, I know who I am. I don't think I would enjoy any of like the really fancy dates either. That doesn't feel like me. I want something real, you know? Call me crazy. I want something like, I want him to pick me up in like a beautiful Toyota Camry. <laughs> And we go for like a stunning two hour walk around like a beautiful Kmart, you know? <laughs> Just doing errands near each other, you know? And, and we're laughing and oh, we're laughing. And I say something fun, like I'm open to polyamory, even though I don't know if I am. But that's, that's just a fun surprise for later, you know? That's just something he gets to work out when I keep getting angry at him. <laughs> but I won't say why. <laughs> I want to be cool. I don't know. I, 
I want I want to be Polly so bad. I want it. Oh God, I want it. If you're Polly, good for you. Multiple partners. Fuck yes! It makes so much sense to me. Like, I truly believe the highest version of myself is Polly. You know, like, she's never wearing shoes and she's got long hair and she keeps going, like, we're all just bodies, ah, you know? <laughs> like, that's her vibe, you know? And I love her, but I'm not current me. I'm too stressed, you know? I don't, like, I tried it. I gave it a red hot go. And, like, I had a partner and I was like, oh, you're going on a date? I love that. I love that so much. Yes, go on a date. I love that so much. I love it, I'll drive you there. Why is my nose bleeding? You know? I don't think it's for me. I don't know, dating's fucking weird, dude. It's so weird. Like I was having sex with someone, Brad Clang, and uh, I was having sex and I just mentioned before, you know, we got down to the nitty gritty, I was like, hey, just to let you know, um, I got my period, go for gold, you know? Um, and I've lost some of you on this one, but I'll get you back. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I got my period and he said something crazy to me. He said, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer, that's a shame. I said, why are you saying this to me? And he said, because you have your period. That means that we can't have sex. <laughs> My brother in Christ, can't and won't are different words, no? <laughs> You know, won't, won't, you don't want to, you know, that's fine, be a coward, all good. But you know, you can't, that implies that you physically can't. Like how strong do you think my flow is that you physically can't? Like an Olympian just training against the current. God for God, I had to explain to a grown ass man that you absolutely still can't have sex, you know. Give it a go, try it, at least prove me wrong. Try! And he said, I, I explained it, he goes, okay, all right, okay. Oh, that sounds messy though. <laughs> you know what's no spring clean, cum? <laughs> you ever got that shit in your eye? <laughs> no more perceiving you then. I don't know, this is what I said to him and I say this to you tonight. This is how I feel about it. If someone vomits at Disney World, they don't shut down all the rides. <laughs> they just sprinkle some sawdust on it and call it the happiest place on earth. And it's the same thing! <laughs> Grow up, put down a towel and get on Splash Mountain! <laughs> That's my time, thank you so much.